Obama has pledged to resettle 10,000 Syrians per year in the U.S. Tuesday, governors, including Indiana's Mike Pence and Ohio's John Kasich, kept up a push to stop the program. Oh, everybody slow down. You can have 50 different questions. Um, but in my sense is stop now, get your act together, and then we can proceed once we know where we are. Cincinnati Congressman Steve Shabbat told Not On Your Side he agrees. I think we have to err on the side of making sure people are safe, uh, and, uh, and that, that should always be our default position. Not On Your Side looked into the vetting process. It starts with recommendations from the U.N. The U.S. then does background checks and screenings from nine different agencies. Fingerprints are taken. The whole process can take up to two years, and only about half of those who apply get approved. Concerns come after reports one of the Paris attackers may have masqueraded as a Syrian refugee. The fear that it could happen here at home. Mayor John Cranley writing Monday, quote, While the city of Cincinnati is not involved and has no jurisdiction on the issue, the actions of the federal government affect the safety of Cincinnatians, which is my highest concern. Councilman Chris Seelbach says he was surprised, especially because just last month the mayor announced plans to make Cincinnati a so-called sanctuary city. I think it's pretty un-American to say, uh, you know, we're, we feel bad for you, but you can't be here. Uh, go somewhere else. Uh